Good morning everyone, today I am proud to say that I have finally achieved my goal, I got level 100 on all of my classes, and so today's video is just going to give you guys a couple tips and tricks and things that I learned uh, while I was leveling up all my classes which might make your life a little bit easier, as well as answering a ton of frequently asked questions. Since every time I make a leveling video or if I'm live streaming myself grinding, I tend to get these questions pretty common. But before we talk about that, if you're new to the channel, I upload PSO2 content daily, so if you do play this game, I'd really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing is to check if you've leveled up all your classes. You want to come to the class consultant. He is uh, basically in the gate area. You just, you know, walk up this little platform and he's right here at the side. You want to talk to him and then you're just going to go to change class. And this is how you see if all your classes are level 100 or not. So the first and the most commonly asked question I get is, do you have to do it all on the same character? The answer is no, it is account wide. You have three character slots if you're fully free to play. So you can see here that my hero is level one on this character. I do not need to level the hero to level 100 on this specific character. The reason for that is because if we log out and go to my characters, you'll notice here that my third character is a level 100 hero. So I don't need to level up the hero to level 100 on my braver because I already have it over here on the hero on the third character, okay? And likewise over here, as you can see, my second character is already a level 100 phantom. So I do not need to level up phantom on the braver character either. All right, the next most commonly question I get is the Cradle of Darkness trigger. How do I have so many triggers or where do you even get these triggers? So the place to get the Cradle of Darkness trigger is actually in the Alliance. So in order to do so, you need to be an Alliance leader or an Alliance officer. You simply come over to the Alliance administrator over here and you'll be able to purchase stuff at the dedicated Alliance shop. Over here, you can see that you will need to use alliance points or whatever these points are in order to purchase things. So you can see over here, you can buy a whole bunch of stuff. However, for the Cradle of Darkness trigger, if you buy one, it will cost 22,000 alliance points. This may seem like a lot, but the thing about this is it gives every single person in your alliance one Cradle of Darkness trigger. So it's actually really, really good, especially if you're doing alliance activities, so forth and so on. And there is a limit. You can see over here, there is a limit of buying 10 every single week. And so because my alliance is crazy, that's why I have so many. So if you are in a alliance, you may want to come over here and just check if your alliance did buy any triggers by simply coming over here to the retrieve alliance shop purchases. So you can see here for me, there are no items to pick up because I picked them all up already. However, I came here like last week and I had 60 Cradle of Darkness triggers to pick up, which is why when you look at my storage right now, I still have 40 left because I burned 20 triggers yesterday back to back in order to get my last class, which was the bouncer to level 100, okay? Now, if you do have those Cradle of Darkness triggers, I highly recommend going into a populated block to host them, either block seven or block 22 if you are on ship two. Those two blocks tend to be the most populated blocks and I usually go there and I host my triggers there and before I run into the portal, I usually type in all chat, just letting people know that, hey, there is a cradle trigger going on. And then I run into the gate over here. All right. However, if you do not have any triggers, it's perfectly fine as well. What you can do is you can simply go to block seven or block 22, stand in front of the quest counter clerk of Rebecca and go here at join party with quest in progress, view all parties and simply look down this list until a cradle does pop up and quickly join it. And that way you'll be able to farm cradle. I highly recommend farming cradle because it gave me quite a lot of money. You can see here I'm down to 32 million, but that is because I bought two emotes which was like 300 million total because I bought the up, down, up, down, choo, 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 left, right, left, right, choo, choo, choo emote. And I also bought the weapon post seven because this one looks adorable when I'm holding the giant tuna. This is an honor for RC because RC is a tuna. And even better, if you use the male pose over here, you can actually move around as a tuna. So let me just show you that. So when you're a tuna like that, you can actually press W and like A and you can like move around the map and uh, 
yeah it's pretty troll like if i just hold down w i can keep moving forward unfortunately it is a little bit clunky when you have to spin around you know like if you're moving forward you can't change direction you have to uh, w stop moving in order to uh, turn basically but it's super cool because i'm a freaking tuna whoop 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 so you know those two emos together was quite a lot of money but i still have a ton more money that i can make mainly because of the x cubes that i have look i have fourteen thousand x cubes and i can make a heck lot more i made i want to say like six to seven thousand x cubes yesterday just yesterday when i was just leveling up my bouncer so if you do want to make money as well as level up highly recommend cradle however remember there is a level restriction you do need to be at least level 85 or above in order to get into ultra hard and that is where the money is at and please make sure that you aren't total dead weight when you are doing cradle it is a team activity you know i really don't want you guys to go there with the mindset of oh everyone's gonna carry me i'm getting power level blah 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 because that just kind of defeats the purpose that's kind of just griefing at that point so do make sure that you do have a decent weapon and you're doing decent damage and you're actually contributing to the cradle run all right but yeah that's pretty much everything i learned while leveling up my classes to 100 hopefully you guys will be able to get as many classes as possible to 100 so that you do get those bonus 500 star gems again if you're not into that if you don't care it's perfectly fine you're not missing out too much it is a free 10 pull in new genesis which is nice but you get 10 pulls if you just log in 10 days in a row because you get one free pull every single day anyway so it's not the end of the world if you can and get this extra 500 star gems okay but anyway that's pretty much all i wanted to cover in today's video hopefully you guys found it helpful if you did i would appreciate a like and a subscribe and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye what can i say except you're welcome for the heals the boosts the rest